Hey, Mario Carters and Frenzy fans, welcome to our channel. We've got a fun Strat Chat episode tonight where we have, or actually this afternoon for us, but this evening for our Frenzy friend members that are all from Europe today. So welcome. We've got uh, Dan and Ronnie Cash and Jesse. Welcome to the episode. Hi. So we're excited to... Yeah, we're excited to have uh, new faces, and we've had Ronnie on uh, once or twice before, so, so this is going to be good. So let's go ahead and go around, and uh, we want to get to to know you a little bit better. Let us know, like, where you're from, um, how long you've been playing Mario Kart, kind of like what your goals are, or how you've been playing, um, yeah. and like an interesting kind of fact about you, or like an other some other hobby besides Mario Kart. Yeah, and if you guys don't mind sharing, I always like to know where people are on like the spending spectrum. So are you free to play, gold pass? You don't have to share, but I think sometimes we'll dive into like strategy and it, what someone says doesn't apply to someone else. And if we don't know like how you're playing it, sometimes things get skewed in our minds. So I think that'd be good. So we'll go ahead and start off with uh, Dan, if that's all right. Yep, uh, hey everyone. My name's Dan, or Dan Ted, and I'm a day one player from Manchester in the UK. Um, only really started playing properly around the uh, Baby Rosalina tour, that sort of time. Um, and I've been Gold Pass and a little bit Gold Pass Plus ever since. Um, gone for whole Cup ranking, top 1000 couple times now. I think I've got five badges now, nice. including my latest one uh, in the Yoshi tour just gone. Congratulations. Yes. What uh, what place did you get? Um, I mean, well, it was 500 and 530. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that badge cool looking? I think yeah, she's one of the coolest looking badges, but I don't know. I have an affinity towards Yoshi. So. <laughs> Like bias. <laughs> cool. And what's when you're not when you're not grinding on Mario Kart? Uh, what's something that that you enjoy doing? Um, it's a bit sad, but uh, Mario Kart's probably all the things I enjoy doing at the moment. Still, right? Uh, That's totally okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool. Well, we're glad to have you on the server. Like we've enjoyed getting to know you better there, and yeah, uh, yeah, it's know. great to be here. So, so thanks so much for 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 being a part of the community. Yeah, we love having you. And then Ronnie Cash, Ronnie, where are you from? I am from um, the countryside, uh, Norwich. Um, yeah, I know it's uh, been a lovely week of sun here, so it's been amazing. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, I've been on once before, and uh, we went through the calculator, which was really helpful because I was still a bit of a, a noob with all that kind of stuff. But I'm more of a um, a veteran now, I guess you could call it. Um, and yeah, no, I um, I started at exactly at the same time as Dan, I think, with the um, detective Rosa. Um, I only knew, knew that because um, Hydra used to do his. Um, like profile, like ch check thing, and um, I used that, and uh, he, um, yeah, he managed to find out my data, and then I found out that I started. Then, so she was my first high end, so I must have got some nice rubies, and then just spent them. <laughs> like a, right. like it just helped quite a lot, um, and yeah, I, in terms of whaling or like where I am on the whale scale, like I guess I'm like an orca at the moment, like six maybe okay. um, yeah like i um i will spend to stay competitive but i'm trying to not at the moment and i've got a decent amount of rubies and things so um hopefully i can stave it off for the moment um spending too much more but um yeah and in terms of i enjoy doing like um yeah america and i love cooking at the moment so we just uh we just had a, an oriental sort of stir fry which is lovely, um, but then yeah, I had to check my teeth for the spinach in there. Great. <laughs> so, um, so hopefully I'm respectable, and um, yeah, but yeah, no, um, happy to be here, and um, looking forward to talking more Mario Kart. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks. Yeah, this is going to be fun. 
All right. And now we have Jesse. Welcome, Jesse. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm so happy to be <laughs> in the spread chat with you all and to enjoy the game and use the calculator and be a part of the community. Love it. And you're from Germany, correct? <laughs> Yes, I'm from Germany. I'm from Nuremberg. It's in Bavaria, in the south of Germany. Awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful down there. Mm. Yeah, we ended up going to New Schwanstein Castle once. And then we... Where did we fly in? Was it... So we flew into... Um, the Switzerland, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We flew into Zurich, right? Zurich. And then, and then we went up into Germany for a yeah, little bit. Yeah. That was fun. It's a gorgeous part of the country, or a part of the world. Sorry. <laughs> I think once you, um, you guys, once Maricart died, you could probably do like some kind of travel thing because you seem to get around the globe quite a lot. So. <laughs> I like to travel. It's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I keep joking. I was like, we need to like get to the point where we can quit our jobs. I'll sell my business, and then we'll just like we'll be Mario Kart tour tourists, and we'll just go wherever the tour is. Fun. <laughs> every every That's other Friday enough. when they do the the tour reveal, it's like, are we going to a new place? Oh, yeah. buying tickets to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so That's perfect. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse, how do you play the game? Are you free to play Gold Pass? Um, I'm Gold Pass. Plus, okay, and I also started to buy packs because I, I like I already said I lost my account, and then I was fast frustrated because one day the uh, game doesn't started anymore, and so I researched what should I do, and they say. Um, we said it, and I, I did it, and then it still not started. And then um, the research does the, um, delete the game and download it again. So I did, but um, I lost my player ID, and so I got some um, stuff I got, but some stuff. Got lost, and I was very frustrated because I um, just um, got um, also ACR 1000. I think it was Santella View, the tour with Santella View, and then I just wanted to get my stuff so I buy many packs and so so that I um level the things that I lost. Yeah. So okay, so you had mentioned before we started recording that you have been watching our show from the beginning. Like when we yes. first launched. So you have been around for a long time and you didn't lose your account until Satella of you. Like after Satella of I don't know when exactly. I I don't know when exactly. Around that time. Wow. That would be heartbreaking. I literally yeah. think we would cry for days. Yes. <laughs> we yes. probably need a marriage. I, I I just um when I look back on the statistic, I cannot go further than um back to autumn tour and then it's gone okay. i don't i don't know but i started my, uh, really um, i think four tours or five tours i played are gone yeah and, and the stuff is gone too and um, sometimes my um my cell phone and um, um, lost battery and then the game just didn't save the stuff 
and I lost some cards and driver. I uh, only got leveled up, so I lost the drivers and I lost the level up ticket. So I'm, oh. that's very frustrating. I can only imagine. <laughs> that's heartbreaking. Well, I admire you for still playing because yeah. Yeah. that's dedication. Yeah, it's so much fun and I love my community and card life. I feel like I, I saw a card life video and then I traveled to your channel and then I really loved it. Before I was only casual playing Mario Kart, so... What? Well, I'm excited to have you on this. So we're actually looking at your phone right now. So do you want to give us a rundown of like where you're at this week and what your goal is and all that type of stuff? Okay, I'm I'm in rank 54 and I'm first place. Nice. And the last two weeks I was um, I was um, rank six, 56, I think I can um, put it down, but now I'm from first, yes. And I think I can improve my scores, it's not the end. Yeah, so let's see. Let's take a look at uh, what your three races are. So if you click on your on your name there. Okay. Because it'll show us for all three what your driver cart and glider are. Yeah. There we go. Oh, so you got a blurry baby donkey oh, there at level five. Single slapped. <laughs> I still have mine at level one. I bought him once because I was like, I don't want to miss out on him being on all these top ranked courses. And now he's still at level one and I don't hardly ever use him. So I'm glad that you invested in him and actually yeah. can use him. Yeah. And when he was in the pack, because he he was um, level, I think level three and then I lost him. And then I got to buy it three times the packs and then I, Everything up because he's very useful in the last couple tools. Yeah, that's um, an understatement. He's been, yeah. <laughs> useful forever. Yeah, he's got, I think he's the first one to 40, right? I think he's yeah. the first item in the game to 40 tracks. Granted, some of them are um, like city tracks and stuff, but yeah. If we're, if we're just looking like at a hard count. Mm -hmm. It's just impressive. It's mm -hmm. funny every time that like content creators they open up ranked on the on like their reaction videos. So like Sammy, he's like, "You've got to be kidding me!" Because I don't think he has Blurry Baby Donkey. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "You've <laughs> got to be kidding me!" There's no way that he keeps on getting buffed and ranked. Like, what is going on? <laughs> yes, um, I think Shy Guy and Catler said mm, the thing the. Um, Baby Donkey will be slowly lost coverage, so there will not be the tools they are. And then I said, Baby Donkey is in a pen, he'll be, it'll be useful. And so I find it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I invested my tickets, so because I very like him. Yeah, he's easily becoming one of my favorite characters to like have on my roster. He's fun. Mm. Cool. The Starry Great Sail, that's another good one to have. Level six, double slap. Yeah, you got some nice gliders. Sure. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think, uh, so right now you're in first place by like what, a couple of hundred? What What do you think your, like your, your max estimate is for, do you think you're gonna need to level anything up? Or are you just gonna kind of keep things where they're at and just play the courses a little bit more, try and get higher action counts? I um, I was thinking just to wait one um one week, so um maybe on Monday I will see how the other players are going, and then I maybe. I 
open a vest or maybe it's not too bad to um, be ranked down so you can get an easier roster so you can get first place because of the me suits I almost got it and then um, I, I can make it so I just wanted to go down so that I have a better chance to get the cards or the measles or something like that. So I'm not sad anymore that I was booted up before. I was sad because one time it was only 100 points to the um, fifth place or something like that. And then I said, wow, that's so... <laughs> It's like in school if you get one point to a better grade. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so close. Okay, so yeah. I have a question for you. How is how are your ranks right now? Like I remember when I was in like at that position in the game, I feel like fifty-five to sixty um for the level. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The tier level. The tier level uh -huh. was like the hardest for yeah. me ever. I remember it was like week after week after week, I was getting blown away by like 20, 30,000 each tour. And I was like, there's no way I can compete. So I felt like I was in that hump for such a long time. So are you seeing yeah. that with yours? Like, do you see that you're having to like tear down a lot only to come back up and tear down again? Yes, I think and so. Um, sometimes it's close, but sometimes it's far away. So I just... And then I'm, I'm sad because I were, my my stuff were better before I lost the yeah. first start. And then I said, when I, when I didn't have to start again, I, I can't compete with that, but I have to start again. And then, and then I said to myself, just play for fun and you will get better. So do us a favor though, scroll down a little bit. Can you show us your uh, profile? So like your top eight drivers that you were showing us earlier? Yes, I can. I am so impressed Because by this. after having hmm. lost your account. Hmm. Well, you got top show. Yeah. yeah. On a city, on a city, like tour as well. That's amazing. Yeah. So look at this, you've got a bunch of coin boxers. Yeah. Level six, mm -hmm. level seven at least. Double, mm -hmm. single and double capped. Donkey Kong. Like, yeah. you have played so smart. Yeah. Like, I absolutely <laughs> love this. This is like a success story. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's got to be so detrimental to have lost your account and then yeah. in such a short amount of time come back to, to be this competitive. That's... Mm -hmm. a we'll player level as well. Yeah. 132 player level, that's really decent as well. That's... I think my high score was um, 45,000 or something like that before. No, it's four. Yeah. 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 yeah, you'll get it back. Mm. So we have a few Rainbow Roads this week too with uh, Meowser and Pink Gold Beach. You could probably mm. catch up on those ones. Yeah. Um, I tried to improve my drifting skills. <laughs> yeah. So are you auto or manual drift? Tell us the truth. Um, I would, um, sometimes I try manual drift, but um, I just get to improve the <laughs> so yeah. that's better. I was thinking about this last night. So when I first started playing, for like more than a year, I was playing on gyro mode. And like, because of that, like I definitely see like a difference in like our skill level. I mean, granted you grind a lot more than I do, but I was sitting there and I was like, what? like, how can I, why am I not getting better at this? Cause there's certain times like I'll drop combo when he'll easily keep it and it's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. Then I just had this thought like go in my mind. So like growing up, I would play sports all the time. And there's so many times like when you're trying to master a sport, you just do the one thing like over and over again, whether it's like free throw shots or like hitting or pitching or whatever, like 
you just have to do the one thing over and over again and practice that one skill. So I, I think I'm going to go into a state for like the next month where like every tour I dedicate like a three hour block of time of just doing the one, like just focusing like not on scores or ranked or anything, but just like practicing drifting and see if I can like retrain my brain. Cause I think gyro really screwed me over. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can turn gyro off. You're still um, you have your phone. Like, <laughs> just like the, we're gonna do the this. muscle memory. It's like, <laughs> it's like a Wii, uh, uh, Nintendo Wii remote or whatever you call it. Where you're just like flinging it around. Totally. Yeah, no, I still like, I still move with it, even though I'm not using it. Not nearly yeah. as much as I did, but. Do yeah. any of you use finger gloves? No. I have some and I only use them when I'm like playing for a long period of time, which is hardly ever. So. <laughs> yes. Um, um, the last couple of weeks I have no time to really grind the game. So, but um, the month before I almost played the game, um, eight, six hours, <laughs> I'm almost playing. So, I was very really lost to lose my account, but now I try just to have fun. <laughs> yeah. That's a good mentality. Yeah. I approve of this message. <laughs> that was like my stamp of <laughs> approval. I don't know. <laughs> we're just going with it. <laughs> well, cool. cool. Well, thanks for sharing. Hopefully, yeah. we're, we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed that uh, you're able to maintain first, that you can tear up and get the Firefly. It's mm. nice this tour that they're giving the Firefly to top three. Yeah. Mm. Just the top one. All right. So we now have Dan fo Dan's phone up. So what are you up to this week with Ranked? Um, it's a pretty interesting one. Um, not got too many high level things, but I think I've still got a shot at either first or second. Okay. So that's my current opponents, why they are. Yeah, so, so I'm you're... not far behind first, but yeah. third is far behind me. Right. Yeah, only 231 points away from first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice 41. flat score from the first place. Yeah. Maybe they don't change it because they've got that perfect number. Yeah. Right. They're like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> don't care where I end up. It's way too pretty yeah. to play anymore. <laughs> We're in like 18th or something. Right. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, these are my uh, loadouts currently. So it's Baby Blurry Donkey. Yeah. Level four. It brings joy to my heart when people call him that. <laughs> Psych on it. Yeah. Uh, no, no top shelf car, but that, um, this Daikon rocket is a mm -hmm. is an option. Yeah, so and it's then, a double or triple feature. I think it's yeah. available on two courses and then mm -hmm. three if you get it to six, which is kind of hefty. And the course, the course it's on next week. I also don't have a car, so so that's, that's like a. Like it's a home run. Dilemma, right? Yeah. Um, I've got a top shelf glider, but only level one. I've no idea why it's single and cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's just begging for it's a ticket now. <laughs> you have to Every put a ticket on it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone does that, though. Everybody has one of those weird, like, <laughs> Of one single caps and the other side one. Just want 90 more points. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when I first got it, I had plans to invest in it. So mm -hmm. single captain got the base points and then didn't do anything with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel uh, like that does happen a lot though. Like you get something and it's because it's in ranked and you just need to get it to like, or you don't have that many tickets at that point in time, but you're like, I'm going to start leveling it up. And then yeah. it never shows up in rank again. <laughs> yeah. like, there's, another, yeah. there's another one there with Penguin Doge. Oh, yes! no! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you won rank that week by like 90 points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here I've got Rosalina, who I think I've got enough tickets to take to eight oh, yeah. if I need to. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's and, like and triple cap. Triple cap. Two, so yeah. It's a nice stash. Yeah. Um, for the carts, I've got 
the Zoom room, but I'm never using the Zoom room again. It, okay, tell us your thoughts on it. Yeah. It's it's unbearable to drive. It's, <laughs> it's not just the um like the back not feeling part of the hitbox. It's it just so weird to drive, it's uncomfortable. Mm. I'm not a fan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. even though it's level four, I'll be using the iron cucumber. Okay. Oh, and it's just one ticket away from four. Yeah, so. yeah mm. what's your ticket stash like? How many tickets? Um, yeah. It's not too Not bad to get us off moment. topic, but. Oh, yeah. It's a healthy stash. Right. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I like the way that you play. This is a healthy style. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what glider do you have? Glider's the, the Galaxy. Nice. Nice. It's a nice one. That's a good investment. Mm. And then for the RT version, I forgot. Oh. Penguet's been carrying my account recently. Yeah. Incredible. So you're using her over Happy Peach? Even though I'm Happy sure Peach is plus skill? I'm not the best at Lucky Seven, so I, I don't know whether the Lucky Seven's going to get me the extra points I need. But I can mm. try them both out, but I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, Lucky Seven's tough because of the with the blooper hits, you want to stay like in the back, but during a yeah. frenzy, yeah. there's so much stuff that's going out and killing people ahead of you that you get in first within like the first half of the frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to keep your combo, but like stall somehow. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Really it's just, yeah, it's does never anyone, mastered it. Does anyone have any tips for Lucky Seven? Because like I'm horrible at it to the point where I feel like any time I release it, like I hurt myself. Like the I bomb. Like, because the bomb goes straight ahead of me. And like I always run into it. it. <laughs> or like I'll be like, oh, this is a great place to release, and like a red shell will like bounce off a wall and come back and hit me, or something like it happens all the time. I'm like. This is the most obnoxious skill I've ever seen. It's unlucky. So. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I I really enjoy it. It's probably my favorite like bus skill. But um you have to you have to drive quite strangely to make it effective. And I think that the windy courses and the ones where you can like uh, do the the like extra ramp or uh, extra item box strategy where you can like in Warrior Ship Ride where you can like dive down and then return just before oh, yeah. the is again so you can like be behind and then keep um using them but yeah i know there's certain tracks like i'm using paint or on choco island and it's so quick like yeah you're just like zooming past people and then you're like oh i need to be bumped again i need another one of these yeah. It's, yeah it's hard work sometimes so yeah, yeah. Tricky. well i am proud to see another uh penguinet uh mm. user i've so back in that tour, uh, Alex Young and I, we, we both were like, hey, because he, he tried for top 100 that tour. Mm. And I was like, you know, this might be like the next Black Bird or like the, the, top, the hard yeah. to roster top shelves. And she's, oh yeah, there, there, there you go. Yep. So it's as like of late, tape, she's actually been doing really, really well. She's helped out a lot. Look at that Genshi badge. It's so good looking. <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah, the, the gold Yoshi goes so well with the with the trophy. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so you got... And are you like a penguin or, or like a uh, um, uh, Toadette fan? Um, for some reason, she's my uh, favorite character. I think it's because when I was at uh, university, we, we'd always play a Mario Party 8 on the Wii. And she was always me, the character I used for some reason. So that's cool. Now okay. she's my uh, favorite um, Mario Kart tour character, other than the uh, Toadette Explorer. Okay. Because I've, I've tried pretty much every pipe she was in to get her. I've never pulled her. Oh, oh really? Oh, so you don't have her? No. Oh, shoot. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of these days, one of these days it'll happen. One of these days she'll be a commemorative item. <laughs> like three dollars. <laughs> yeah, but this is my uh, car options. 
Oh, <laughs> wow. You've gone all in on that green V dash mm -hmm. mark, too. It's really valuable. Really, really valuable for my account. Um, all of those chocolate wow. islands, Cooper Trooper beaches, Dermot Plains. Yeah. They're all really useful, so. Yeah. Took it off. It's really nice to pipe as well, isn't it? Like, it yeah. feels good at handling. And I think it's quite wide as well, so it collects quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's not quite on the level of like off roader and mm. crawly car, but it's a good one. Did you level it up a lot or did you pull it a bunch when you were in that Mark II pipe? I, w I went in the Mark II pipe to try and get everyone. And I got that one three times. Okay. And the metal one twice, but didn't get any of the others. But it, huh. I'm pretty happy though in the end because it's been, it's probably been the most valuable of them all. So yeah, mm. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving the same cart this week, so I like it. But I only have it at level four. So it's worth taking up. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. And then for gliders, mm. two options. Oh, see. So you went all in with that gold eggshell glider. I like that. Yeah. It was also, it started with like four tracks that were really valuable to me. So I thought mm. sim ranked a couple of times. I might as well take it up instantly. There you go. So which one do you think you're going to use? I think I'll use the eggshell one just because of the coin skill. Yeah. Yeah. Not having a coin box driver, if you can get more coins to be rolled, mm -hmm. then yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, cool. That's so have you, that light, then. how, um, have you been, have you like grinded all of them? Have you gotten like your action counts on all of them or are you still like, so I've done like little runs on ice world and Amsterdam RT just cause it's a lot more fun than the first one. Uh, I got a double coin frenzy on Amsterdam RT, but it was like a really s scrappy run, so I think I'll have to go again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but the the main thing I'm considering for for to upgrade is to get that commemorative car. Because that's going to help you out on the Amsterdam drift, huh? Yeah. Yeah, on two of them. Yeah. So I'd, I don't know whether. Um, to get it once or to get it three times just for ranked because the thing is I'll probably after this tour I'll probably never use it again <laughs> just because of the it's not the biggest hitbox is it unless it starts to become like super OP in the game and six months from now you oh realize gosh. that right now it's 90% off <laughs> because they will be selling it for $40 <laughs> all by itself. <laughs> Are they doing the mushroom yeah. lighter? I, I can't mushroom. believe that they did that this tour. Thanks. It's killing. <laughs> <It's expensive. laughs> um, the only other worry with my ranks is this player who has got Bowser Santa at level 7. Mm. And he gets Ice World at level eight, doesn't he? So you almost need to be able to like take a peek into their ticket, like their ticket yeah. storage too, right? Because yeah. if they're only sitting at like two or three tickets, and like, oh, good, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> but if they have twenty, it's like. <sighs> so how do you how do you typically play? Do you kind of like just pace yourself and see what's going on, like Sunday, Monday, and then make decisions, or? Yeah, usually I wait most of the week before making an investment. Um, and if, if I do make an investment, I'll probably go like all out on a load of things just to get the just to get the win. But if if like, I use a calculator or any of the other spreadsheets and I see like I'm miles off winning, I'll just try and get like fifth or sixth or something. Okay. So tier, I'm in tier 67 now, but the highest I've been 68, and I've been like yo-yoing around there for mm -hmm. a good yeah. few months. Huh. So what do you guys think about the Amsterdam Drift course? Do you guys like it? 
I like the, the visuals of it. I think it looks really cool. And actually, I love the music now. At first, I was like, what are these like weird voices at the start? But after a while, the like, accordion and all that, it, it starts to like, get in your head. And uh, yeah, I think, I think they're quite fun. I, I don't think they're horrendous courses, like compared to London Loop, which was horrible. Um, and I, I don't think it's awful to hold combos on. Um, obviously on the T and the RT, they're, they're okay. And but I, I think Amsterdam Drift is okay. That's probably my strongest out of the courses anyway. So, um, but yeah, I don't know what you guys think. So I'm using Baby Blurry Donkey on Amsterdam Drift, and yeah. I okay. So I, the the thing that's frustrating me about it, and I don't know how to like do anything different, but I got uh, so I finished fifth, but I got a triple. So I got three triple banana frenzies, yeah. but two of them were over that gliding part where mm. you like get the box yeah. and gliding, and you're like in frenzy mode, and you're like. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Like you can't even throw them forward enough because you have the windmills like blocking <laughs> the bananas. Like, <laughs> blocking the walks. Like, yeah. Waste. It was so yeah was frustrating, but <laughs> yeah. but like, I think the course is beautiful. I think it's fun. yeah. It's like the maple tree ways. They have those bits, don't they, with the coin boxes, and you're just seeing all your coins just fly off <laughs> into the ether, and it's so annoying. But, um, yeah, yeah. I think they're quite fun. Um, but it's hard to invest in them when you know they're never going to come back or once once uh, in a blue moon so yeah. yeah it'll probably return in anniversary won't it but yeah. that'll be it won't it mm. what do you think jesse what are the wh which of the four tracks do you like the most um, i think the second the RT one. Yes, the RT one. I think the worst thing is when you um when you're gliding and somebody hits you and you have to start over again and they are all racing and you lose your place and when you get um many fences and then you lose your place so you get because they got you when you're flying yeah. and you're using cat tone on that one right on the rt one i think you had cat tone at level five I, yes i yes i think I cat tone. Yeah, I feel like that leaf, or the, not the leaf, the bell would be complicated mm. on that course. Mm. Yeah, I've never really used a, um, a driver with the bell, but I think it's quite good, like at a high level, because I think the base points of it went up, like massively. Um, so I think, yeah, like in some of these tight courses, and like Maple Tree, where I like, cat toes on one of them, and like, yeah, he can destroy like the whole like in the tunnels and stuff. You can get quite a lot of points um, with him. But yeah, I've I've never really I don't, don't like cat peach or and um, cat toad isn't really that good for me. But um, I think it's going to be quite a fun skill now um, to get quite a decent amount of points if you've got like Jesse's um, level six. I think is it level six or level five? Let me look. <laughs> it's level six. Oh. I think I need um, two tickets to level seven. Wow. Oh, there That's we go. That's fun. Cool. So, Dan, as far as uh, any potential investments, so like, let's say hypothetically, someone were to, you know, get like two, three, four, like maybe five thousand. What do you think? So probably getting the um, Daikin. Uh, cart will help out a few thousand, right? Yeah. If you like spending money. If you don't like spending money, you don't have to get it too. I feel like there's always been a disclaimer. <laughs> I usually, if I get the commemorative, I only get it once, but oh, okay. I feel it could be worth getting it a couple of times this time. I think I'll definitely take this Rosalina up. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 
other than that, I don't, I don't think I'd invest in anything else. I might okay. just have to settle for what I have. Yeah. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, hopefully you can get that extra 250 points. And that's the guy that's currently in first really, really likes his number. <laughs> And nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is satisfied as well. <laughs> yeah. you're the- when you, you're with your Ros- Rosalina, I think an eight, so maxed out Rosalina um, super is like stronger than like uh, six to um, high end, I think. I think you get more yeah. points than that. So that, that, I think, you know, with that, you'll get a decent amount more on that course, and hopefully that will tied you over yeah, and the calculator should be able to help you kind of compare yeah. you know, like a level eight something mm-hmm. on yeah. top super versus a you know lower level high end so yeah yeah mm-hmm. that's my debate too because i have um penguin toad at level five double uncapped and so my debate's like okay should i leave him there and just settle well we'll see if i actually need to level anything up to get first but or take rosalina to level eight and triple uncap her that's, mm-hmm. that's a potential mm-hmm. But I think she does outperform uh, yeah. the. I feel like ticket super ticket resources is a little bit easier for me to like yeah. part with. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I don't focus a whole lot on it. And so when I go back and I see it, it's like, oh, I've got 20 or 30 of these. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and use it. Especially now because most people aren't going to be leveling up all the super drivers for daily selects, are they? Mm-hmm. Just because there's so many. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some people are still dedicated to that and I admire it, but I'm like, I don't have the patience. I need to have a different strategy because that's a really long game. Mm. Well, cool. Well, Ronnie Cash, did you, uh, do we want to chat about your rank this week? What we got? Uh, Yeah, can do. Um, I think, uh, yeah, it's all ready to go. Um, yeah, I might need some, some experts to give me some, some pointers. Um, I'm, not, I'm just not sure what to do. So, okay. um, well, you got a great panel here today. Thank you. Yeah, no, I've got the uh, the best of the cream of the crop. You know it. <laughs> um, so I will share now somehow. So yeah, so um, yeah, I've been doing all right in um, in my rank. So I'm at tier seventy five, I think this rank is you know telling me this is my <laughs> This is my top end, like unless I start going proper stud fit Jeeves kind of spending. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah. So here we go. Um, so you're at level seventy five. Does that mean that you haven't lost one yet since, or you haven't teared down since level eight was? I, yeah, I can't remember tearing down. Like I've come a, a few fourth or fifths, but I I keep tearing down without winning. So I yeah. think I won last week um, for the first time in a while. But you know. Second is the new first, as um, Fran Boy says. So um, get that motto out there. Like, yeah, as long as you get the the cap tickets, the rubies aren't as important, I think. Um, so, so yeah, Pope Fan has already uh, trip one caps her. Um, uh, nice. What, what her, her acronym is, <laughs> or like her nickname? What is? Yeah, we have so many floating around. Boomalina. Yeah. Baddie. I call her Baddie Rosa. <laughs> Baddie Rosa. <Yeah. laughs> I know uh, Big Rolo calls her something else, but um, we'll leave that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, this, uh, if we look at the player info, like oh. clearly he's a fan there. Whoa. Um, and, a, a, and a nice score as well, so 59. So obviously that knows what that is. But you know, I'm, I'm paired with people in the same sort of tier, but yeah, she's. She or he is good. Um, so we actually do I'm know not... how many tickets that this guy has. If he doesn't have a oh, do take him from take her from four to five, he has less oh, okay. than three tickets. <laughs> okay, yeah. But it, it, if we look at our calculator, I'm still out. <laughs> there's no way <laughs> doing that. But yeah, I don't know. So there's there's some good loadouts. I've got the um, happy each on that, which is I think the best skill available yeah. on RT. Um, if you like Lucky Seven, I guess. Um, and yeah, like pulled the new cart and everything. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few like top 1,000, which you expect at this sort of level. I've got this guy, which I'm not quite sure, but he's got a top of 100, so 
wow. decent. Yeah. Um, and he's a, or she, is a Pauline fan. So got all those at high levels as well. So, but cool. I don't think this one's got this, like the drivers that they need really. Oh, they've got Holidaysy, who I think is on uh, Rosa, um, Ice World. And then i um, trying to think if there's any others that she's um, using. Yeah, so she's got the, um, new Rosalina as well so um and actually yeah my loadouts yeah are not amazing but um there are potential options like so Amsterdam Drift is nice um with the Sakura hot rod um so I can do some stuff to that um because I like that car anyway um just like you with the um dark hot rod friends yeah. finger um and I think it's gonna be strong like it's upgraded me on Mushroom Gorge and a few others. Um, and because it was a non spotlight, I think they'll treat that nicely. So, um, and unfortunately, um, Mario uh, Penguin is the best on that course. So I don't have anybody else like better than him, I don't think. And then Amsterdam Drift RT is pretty shambolic, to be fair. <laughs> um, I think I actually got in my. Um, my token pipes last so i've got an extra level one but i'm still not sure whether i'm going to take him to um jesse's level or toadette level of dan so um yeah so but there are options like um so i can do the daikon because i think that's the best option on this course so i've got those guys so i got um the new rosa with um my first freebie so <laughs> Are you serious? No. What? Yeah, no. I'm so jealous. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I know um, some of some people like Pepper Rabbit went down to pretty low, okay. didn't he? Uh, so um, I didn't record it. Okay, this is my confession. Yeah. I wanted her so bad, but I was like, we're not going to record it because I just have a feeling I'm going to have to go so deep in it, and I don't want my reaction <laughs> to be filmed. <laughs> it was like 82 for me. 82 in. Yeah. It was just I'm hard sorry, to keep it ahead of time. Like, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's an option there. Um, but yeah, my pipe luck. Uh, I've got Cacta in one of my freebies, and I was going to pull like mm -hmm. I needed to for that in the um, yellow off roader and Cacta pipe. So I didn't have to pull that. Um, I got the Luigi mustache as a freebie as well. Um, I think potentially in the same tour, like one after. And. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got some some other one like in a free pull as well. So um yeah, at some point they're gonna punch me actually. <laughs> Mario's like got my got got some plans for me, I think. So yeah, um so yeah, I'll choose her because she's new, um, but I can use cat toad, I guess. Um rubbish cats there, but I am gonna be pulling L Luigi Pipe, I think. I love Luigi, like he's my favourite character. So I might be able to get some dupes of um, Dan's favourite um, and then I might you know hopefully see how that goes um, and then I've got some nice gliders in there so a couple to play with there um, but yeah my estimate if I pop um, this on so I've filled everything in um, so and I've used the lower specs I think because I'm not sure triple bananas like is counted as a skill? Is it? It's not counted as a skill yet. No. I think it's still kind of up for debate. Like if you, yeah. if you're good at it and you get like the frenzies in, in yeah. the right course that has like a yeah. straightaway, then maybe. But if not, then probably not. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, Amsterdam Drift is too wide for it to be that useful. I think there's too many areas where the bots like dodge. Um, I don't. Whether they dodge or not, they just drive straight into it. But they don't drive into it for me, on based on my experience driving that course. So, but um, Blurry Baby Donkey um, is, yeah, my definitely my best driver there. So, um, so if I just scroll across, you don't need to see my loadouts again. Um, that's what I'm predicted to get. Current pace, which would leave me if nobody grinds any more. That would take me to third, um, but um, 
yeah, looking at some of these, like this person probably has lots more on Amsterdam Drift. Um, Pincher, I'm not sure what they're doing with them. Um, on um, the, yeah, the normal version of that. And they'd, they'd, they could, I guess, um, upgrade Razor on that. But they've got some good stuff on there as well. So it's a tricky one. I'd like to finish like six, ideally. Like, so you can drop down and then. Um, so yeah, I think I can potentially get six. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not sure whether investing in Rosa this early is going to be that useful because she, she won't help me on anything but, um, RT, I don't think, okay. um, cause I could six and I can't do that. So, um, can we do not... something really quick on the calculator? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Can pull it up and go to the Rosalina ice, uh, world tab. Uh, yes. So this one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just curious. So go ahead and yeah. type in your 58590 into the previously calculated score tab. Uh, this one, 58590. Yeah. And this is. 38. Yeah, 38. Oh, I'm sorry, 38. <laughs> oh, so sorry, sorry. So that was my bad. <laughs> I'm never getting that with uh, yeah. Penguin Mario. <laughs> I get really into um, 58. <laughs> 38 plus 90. <laughs> um, I'd have to take him to wait somehow. Uh, there we go. And then, okay. And then for the driver, change it to a super and take it to eight triple capped. I'm just curious which one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good thing because we were talking about. Yeah. Five double slapped um, versus eight triple slapped super. super. And not everybody has enough tickets to take a super to eight, but I think that is like the biggest bing for your buck on this one. Yeah, definitely. I'm just um, level with your Rosalina at the moment. Yeah. Uh, five, I think, and I think I've got anything, I haven't really got it's because I was, I think I either used them on Donkey Kong or I just stupidly slowed <laughs> on something a while ago and straight after and I was just like, what am I doing? <laughs> um, and I now could use them, but, um, so I think I've got five, but um, yeah, actually, yeah, so with some uh, super at eight, um, that would give you an extra 3k for yeah. the same factions. So I mainly did this for selfish reasons because I haven't done the calculator for myself yet. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not fussed about whether I win or not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's a, that's cool to know though. Um, and I guess with some supers like uh, Toad, Banana Toad, like his scoring potential is massive with. If he's at level eight, so um, yeah. so if it, that might be pretty useful if people are going to do that. So because um, the pit crew, uh, Toad, Yellow Toad, yeah. he's he's on this one, right? Um, so he's on Sunset Wild next week, I think. Yeah, next oh, week. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. But, but then the, lots of people. Oh, yeah, lots yeah. of people are going to be using um, Gekshi. Yeah, aren't they? Um, Gekshi, Coinchi, whatever yeah. you call him. Um, okay, do me one more favor and bump him to yeah, level, course. or bump her, Rosalina, to level seven. What would that? Forty. So, so even at level seven, it performs better than a level five high end. Yeah. Hmm. So that's definitely an option for you. Um, and actually, yeah. How many supers do you have? Like super to play with? Oh, I have. I have a lot. In the fifties. Yeah. Fifties or so. Wow. Yeah. And I just don't, I didn't, don't have the ability to save that many tickets. I see a certain amount. I'm like, spend them, and then then yeah. now I regret it. <laughs> no, I have 44, 44. Or yeah. yeah, so that will easily get you there. Although, is what level is she now? Five. Um, no, so I have her at level seven right now. Oh, okay. So you need 16 of those tickets, right, to get yeah. it to eight. Okay. So, um, yeah. Maybe you can keep her there, but maybe you can just add the honest a bit of um, yeah. a buffer um, if you need to. Um, and yeah, yeah. Apart from that, like I think I'm happy to tear down this week. I think next week um, is a lot better based on um, filling in the, the stuff. So um, Amsterdam Drift, I've got Painter, and yeah, I think I can use Daikon on that. The the new commemorative and being a orca i'd buy that 
three times, I reckon, because it's always nice to get something to three without actually spending tickets, um, just spending real money. But, you know, that's not as important as <laughs> the, the, the high-end tickets. And, so, um, and then, um, so, and then most, most people have decent loadouts on this one. Like, I'm expecting to see some level eight um, for that course, but that's okay. And then, um, I think, I think this is a Pinja course, and and yeah, so my cart and my glider are good, but it's just uh, Chef Chef Mario and Pinja at level three, which is oh, letting them yeah. down a bit. So mm. um, I think there's, I think I'd prefer next week potentially, but I'm I'm happy to make a few investments potentially um, okay. for this week. How excited are you for the gold knee suit? I feel like everyone who's kind of in your boat, who's like at 75, they're like, I don't want to tear down because I need the gold knee suit, but. I just don't, I haven't invested, I haven't bought any. Um, I'm not sure about you guys. Like I haven't bought any of the um, Ruby ones. I, I've just hoped to get them in uh, ranked, but because I keep coming second, I keep missing them. So Birdo is the only mm -hmm. one that I think I have that is like a rank reward. Um, so I'd have to buy extra ones in the shop at 100 rupees, which I don't think I'd want to now because um, I should have bought them a set. So, um, and I just don't like using them. Like they've got annoying sounds. Um, and actually, I might have, you know, a gold me suit, but I won't have the rest of the loadouts to compete with anything else because they'll have eight gliders and carts and stuff. And I'll be like with my level fours and stuff. So I'm not I'm not overly fast. I'd probably prefer to use like proper characters. I would say. <laughs> I'm not saying fake, but yeah, I just don't like them. So um, yeah, I'm happy to to go without for the time being. I think silver suits better for me um, yeah. out of them. Um, but yeah, I'm not that fast to be fair. So I hope this doesn't yeah. offend anyone at all. But okay, so today for my daily ch or challenge or whatever it was, um, I had I was racing the the nab at me suit, mm. and when you're like when they like zoom in on you before you start the race and it shows behind you, it like show it actually has Nabbit's face like on the back of the like the helmet. Yeah. I don't know why that one creeps me out. Like it gives me like major yeah. like Donnie Darko vibes. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it just like freaks me out. Of, like, that bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah. It's just like the way it looks on the me suit. I'm just like, not the regular like character doesn't give me that vibe, but the me yeah. suit, like when you're, it freaks me out. The boo one has that as well. So it's just like staring at you as yeah. it in front of you and then bombs oh, you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to you kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, so it's um it's uh yeah. I I think they're I think they're a good idea for new people to get into it. Like if you invest in them, you can catch up quite quickly because you've normally got top shelf on like the me cups and stuff, and you've got these good skills, like if you invest in the Nabbit and the um Gold Boo and stuff, like you can have those plus skills um and you can if you want to, you can buy the rubies to get them to a decent level. But um, for for most people, I think we've already got stuff that covers their track, and their coverage isn't that good based on what I I know because I haven't invested in any of them, so I I don't know what they're like really. But I think they're worse than a regular high end, aren't they? In terms of the track they get and stuff. So. The the only one I've bought is the Donkey Kong one, and it's had yeah. one buff since it came out. Yeah. Yeah, for seventy rubies, and now it's one hundred. Last week I almost um buy the Yoshi one because I had no top shelf driver, mm -hmm. but then I I put in the second week and I got a um, white bird on, so I was happy. Oh, that's yeah. amazing! And then, I'm jealous. I still don't have I, one. I didn't have to buy the Yoshi shoe because I have not many rubies and I, I didn't want to buy the packs. So. But the packs last week were 
better than the packs now. You got a driver in the car and now you get only a glider for the same amount of money. I am waiting for um, Peach holi holiday or something for the vacation. Yeah. Yes, a Peach vacation. Um, because it's like Holland Books driver and yeah but the other I don't want to spend 40 euros for only a glider yeah, yeah. no it's crazy um, <laughs> I think the vacation pack like is the best one this tour for sure like it's, it's cheap um, and you're getting the coin box there and a lot of people will just buy it to level her up. Um, like she doesn't really do anything for me, but um, I got her too late to invest in her. But yeah, I think that's easily, I don't think the packs this tour are worth getting. Um, although the Super Mushroom is like an amazing glider, but not for that price when you could have got it for, for but, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, when I was pulling for uh, Boomerang Rosalina last night, I mm -hmm. had like I've been hoarding my birthday packs too because I was like I need to save these for a time when I really need them, and I ran out of rubies. Yeah. This is like the only time I'll like buy for something is if I'm like that committed mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So I was looking at the packs and I was like, which one should I buy? And I have both the Super Mushroom and the um, what's the one to the right of it? I always forget what it's called. The and kids. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, you're can... good. Oh, what is? The, I always forget what it's called. What is it? The the daikin. Uh, no, sorry, that that one right there. The oh, cat parafoil. Okay. Yeah. So I, have, I own both the mushroom and the cat parafoil. Mm. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm using both of them for rank this tour too. So I was like, ah, oh, like I love the mushroom so much more. But if you are love, if you are buying things to level things up, which is not what I normally subscribe mm. to, but I am this week um, <laughs> because I needed the rubies is yeah. um it's such a better deal to get the parafoil because if you're essentially viewing them not necessarily as like acquiring a new thing but you're just viewing them as like a high-end glider ticket yeah you get one high-end glider ticket for 20 us dollars or 17.99 pounds or mm. one for 40. it's obnoxious yeah it's such yeah. a bad deal it is yeah um and yeah no i'm i don't think anything like i guess if you wanted to and you didn't have tattooed at a high level, like actually that pack would be good for me. Like, yeah. it, because I could level him up if I wanted to really be silly and buy it three times, like I could get tattooed to uh, level four, like complete level four. Yeah. Um, and I guess his cart, which I could use on that track, I could get to, well, if I didn't want to spend any tickets at all, that could go to like level three, but it's, just not worth it. I don't. I'm not going to use him on anything else. Yeah. Um, mm. so you've just got to be careful. And I, I think um, I try. I'm trying to view it now as like a long game. Like I want to. I want to win ranked, but actually, I don't want to level up things I'm never going to use. Like there's certain things like Yoshi Valley. Ah, that I've got a level one glider. So I'm like, I'd rather use something that will cover me on that track and then something else rather than just do it on Amsterdam tracks I'm never going to do again so yeah um, yeah it's it, you have to be kind of just think about the the gain that you're getting um for spending however many tickets to just get a few rubies back and some cap tickets mm -hmm. on. Right. Yeah, so, um, you a few weeks ago I um buy so many packs because I wanted to get the teleview and I, I put so many times and I got so many rooms but I didn't get it once um, I got five times a uh, baseball Mario and I said why oh. <laughs> and um, yeah. then I got um, Mario Racing Halloween Mario. Mario uh, um, Halloween Mario, and I was happy because it um, helped me with with Bioship yet. Yeah. 
But I tried so many times to get to Tel Aviv, and then I gave, and then I gave up. <laughs> so, yeah. Him, but I tried. I really wanted to get him. Yeah, yeah those fifty pipes are uh, nasty sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Firestorm. I think he got him like straight away, didn't he? Or something. Yeah, like first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think I said, so uh, Carlos get him eight times, and he. He put less time um, papers than me. Wow! <laughs> I hope one of these days, though, like you open up ranked, and that one that you pulled like a bajillion times is just like a killer driver for you, and you're like, it was yeah. worth it. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Well, thanks everyone for yeah. joining us on the Strat Chat. This is really cool. I love seeing new new faces, yeah. new players, new strategies. Talking about the game, kind of in the you know we all we all play this game, but we can play it differently and have different mm. uh, viewpoints and aspects and opinions and stuff. So this is cool. Sure. Well, before we go, we do like to invite uh, our guests to join us in uh, sharing a thankful, grateful, made me happy. Um, that name makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> I mean, you know, so until gonna, we come up with something better. We're going to go with it. That's what we're going to yeah. stick with. <laughs> um, so I don't know if uh, one of you guys want to to start us off with uh, something that you're either thankful for or grateful for or just something simple recently that's that's made you happy. I am very thankful for my nephew. He just turned two on March. And last week, he for the first time and um, said my name i love I, that so much i i got a twin sister and we look very the same and he just um called me also mom he don't want to um say aunt he hated it no mom but now he uh, Yesterday or the day before, he just said, Jessica! <laughs> yes, and that makes me very happy. And I'm thankful for him and my sister. I love that. I can relate to that so much, too. My, my nephew turns two in June. And he's just said my name for the first time, like, two weeks ago. And it just... It's the best. <laughs> Something about it just melts your heart. You're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's precious. Yes. Children are good. Ch children are cool. <laughs> um, I'm thankful for the sun being out. Like, it just helps your mood so much. Like, I felt a bit low recently, just with stuff, and having the sun out and being out in the garden, breathing in that fresh air, and being able to go for walks and uh, yeah, like I'm just thankful for the sun and <laughs> it shining and it being hot and um, not having to turn on the heating in the middle of like April when we, we shouldn't have to do that. Like it's, it's, it just makes you feel so much better or it does for me anyway. Um, so I'm thankful for the, the big star in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. All right, Dan, you're up if you want to. Um, I'm thankful for the for the Yoshi tour because I think it was the Yoshi tour last year. I went for my first proper um, top 1,000 attempt. I think I came about 4,000 points shy. Oh no! So. When I saw it was the Yoshi tour this year, <clears throat> I was pretty determined to uh, to make up for that. So I put most of my time of the last of the Monday and Tuesday just gone to to redeem what happened last year and yeah. pretty comfortably got in. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, huge congrats. I totally know that feeling. I almost think that it's kind of like this rite of passage, like when you're really trying, like when you're first aware of it, you're kind of like, well, can I do it? Can I not? And then when you really try for it, I mean, it was with, that with Alex Young, it was that with me, it was that with uh, Sammy, 
um, where I think we would call ourselves competitive, but not like, mm. um, you know, we're, we're not in the league of like top 10, like top 100 every single tour, right? But mm. as, as far as like just giving us that challenge of, of trying something for that first time, yeah. I feel like that first crack at it, sometimes sometimes you just have to get like super close. Fall short by <laughs> one or two or three spots. Yeah. And yeah. Try it's yourself heartbreaking, but it, it spurs you on for the next time, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you learn a lot, and you kind of it kind of puts you in check to be like, you know, I think I can, I think I can do it next time. Yeah, I've learned some things, and I know what to do different next time, and then the next time it ends up being much better. So, yeah, cool. Oh, cool. We want to go first. You want me to go first? You got it. Okay. You always go first. <laughs> okay. So mine was just a simple, made me happy <laughs> this week. Uh, kind of along the lines of Ronnie, the sun's been out and it hasn't been as rainy. And so we actually both decided to go get our cars washed on the same day because <laughs> my car was definitely needing uh, some attention. Some pollen love on it. <laughs> yeah. And so it was uh, it was good to just get like a nice, clean, like fresh car, like on the inside and out. And I don't know, like it just kind of, there's just a different feeling to, um, you know, just kind of like taking care of the stuff that, uh, that you know you should be taking care of but right. maybe have been neglecting a little bit so it, it made me happy yeah and your dirty is like anyone else is clean so <laughs> yeah. it's like there's a speck of oh no i may, yeah. or may not have a tiny case of ocd yeah. <laughs> yeah. did you both drive away like holding the wheel and just like right oh. yeah uh, <laughs> cruising off yeah uh Okay, I'm going to stick, you just spurred a memory of mine. So okay. I'm going to kind of stick to that same moment. So we do this thing in the United States. There's like this franchise called, it, it's a grocery franchise called Kroger. There's like King Supers and a bunch of different names for it. But we buy all of our Google Play gift cards through there because you get gas points. And when you hit a certain amount, you get like a dollar off per gallon. So we buy all of our Google Play gas, like, gift cards through the grocery store because then like once a month we get a dollar off per gallon of gas and so it's so fun like when you i mean it's kind of obnoxious but we pull up both of our cars and we both get a dollar off per gallon so we save like 40 dollars. it's great Just it's great. Off, of one pump, yeah. off of one pump yep <laughs> so i'm grateful for even with the rise in gas prices that we still have we make a game out of it it's it's silly but it's fun <laughs> the funny thing is each of the three of these people are like you're only paying three fifty a gallon. Yeah. We're paying four dollars a liter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm not going to convert it, but yeah, it is painful topping up your car. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, it's all relative. But... It's all relative, but I always have fun doing it. I think it's hilarious because yeah. in my mind, I'm like, we always okay. So we always like go and fill up, and then I always use the excuse of like I don't have to make dinner tonight. I'm gonna go buy us food because we just saved a lot of money. So <laughs> yeah, and then those points can go towards Mario Kart, right? Exactly, 100%. You're, you're winning. Yeah. Or 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 everything just like we just saved a pack. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy that mushroom. Bit right. Of mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was so fun. It was fun to get to know you guys, especially, obviously, always Ronnie Cash, but Dan and Jesse or Jessica, it was, a, it was great to get to know you guys today. Yeah. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us on. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So thanks, everyone, for joining us. And until the next episode, may the frenzies be forever in your favor. See you guys later.